Hello, this is Viktor Damchev, Mission Manager at Endurosat, and I'm very happy today to talk to you about our shared satellite service. So you may have heard about quite a few hosted payload services. What we have is really a shared satellite, not a hosted payload. So if we had to tell you in, uh, in, in one sentence what we do, we take your payload, we integrate it on a satellite, we qualify the satellite, we fly it, and then we give you the flexibility of how you want to operate this payload on our satellite. So we maintain the satellite, but you keep the payload and you keep the data. And this is how we want this service. And this is how you are really allowed to make a change from this service. What is it based on? It's based on our standard 6U platforms. Endurosat is quite famous for its provision of CubeSat components and complete platforms. And the whole service is based on our platforms, which we integrate, test and fly. So what you can expect in our platform is a fully uh, redundant system, which is based on CubeSat components, which supplies you with power, with communication, with pointing and with any other subsystems that you may need externally. So how do, we, how do we supply this to you? You simply tell us what you want to fly and we integrate. We are the ones who know the platform. So what does our platform offer? It's a cutting edge 6U platform that gives you four and a half units of volume. So your volume might not be the only one, but it will be given a dedicated slot into it, which takes into account your specific concept of operations. You can decide pointing modes, so you can decide how you want the platform to be pointed with respect to the Earth. You can select targets and you can even define your own operation modes that we are going to implement and provide to you. The platform itself has a peak power of 250 watts for a short amount of time to all the payloads together. But for each payload per unit, we give about 5 watts of average power. So depending on how much volume you take, you can have between 5 and 30 watts average power continuously available only to you and to your needs. And the best thing is that this is actually allocatable in time. So you can start one month where you have a huge amount of operations and really use the maximum power that you need and then go for a few months at a lower power and pay only for what you really use. It's the same with data. Each of the platforms has an S-band or an X-band transmitter and in many cases S-band receiver. So we can provide speeds, downlink speeds in excess of 125 megabits per second or uplink speeds of 2 megabits per second. So you can actually get all of your data that you need, such as images or any kind of large volume computational results. Or you can get software updates, which is something that we support in all of the payloads for the service. How do you get your data in the end? So I'm mentioning the S and X band, but how do you actually get the data yourself? You don't need to have an antenna. Of course, if you do, you can use it. But what we offer you is Endurosat's digital ground station. The only infrastructure you need for getting your data afterwards is a computer, laptop or a tablet, whatever you want to browse the internet. You get a secure account in My Endurosat where you can get all the data after a pass occurs. The way that this works is that on the satellite, all data generated by any payload is segregated and separated in a way that is only confined to the specific user. When we have a downlink, the physical ground station redistributes all of this data, which can actually be encrypted by the user themselves, so that even Endurosat has no idea what this data is. The ground station distributes this data and sets it into separate AWS-based accounts. So the whole service relies on a physical ground station, which is secured in a tier three teleport and utilizes a 4.5 meter dish owned and operated by Endurosat and a digital ground station, which is immediately taken after the data is down to the ground and where the data is securely stored for each user to access at any time they want. The same thing can work with Uplink. So you can actually prepare a queue of files that you need delivered to your payload. And in the concept of operations, we can define how these files are transferred and whether they're simply transferred as raw data or even integrated in the operations of the satellite during uplink. So what do we give you as a service and what is the flow? The latest that, you should, that we should have your payload is six months in advance. The reason is obvious in the launch segment and this is nevertheless three to five times shorter time that, than what you currently have and that what you currently can achieve with your own mission operations. As soon as we get your payload, we prepare an ICD with our platform we integrate and we test the payload with the platform. We fully qualify the platform for space based on the NASA uh, GEFs and the ESA ECSS standards. 
and after the full qualification and testing campaign, we deliver it to the launch provider. We take care of the early commissioning and this complete part is fully insured for you. So these steps, integration, testing and assembly and qualification campaign, launch, commissioning and early operations, this is completely covered by a single one-off fee, which I'll mention in a second. But this is something that we fully take care of. So what is the fee of this? So what is the cost of this? Um, for a one unit payload, 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter, by the CubeSat standard, you pay 100k fixed fee, 100k euro. And what does this include? It includes everything from the initial documentation, the preparation of the ICD, the actual integration of the payload, any kind of software drivers and the integration of your payload to our platform, mechanical and hardware as well, the actual testing and qualification campaign, the launch, the commissioning and everything up to the first stable signal and proof of that your payload is in orbit and working. As soon as this one is done, and keep in mind that this also includes insurance and all support activities in the process, as soon as this is done and you have your payload in space, you start your annual subscription to Endurosat, which is only for the data. And this subscription is fully tunable. You can change it every year and you can change it even on a monthly basis in some cases. It allows you to book time for power, for pointing, for data. So it gives you up to an X amount of megabytes, it gives you up to an X amount of pointing sessions that you need with a given precision and it gives you an, a mean and a peak power that you can use comfortably. Something that is included in this whole service that is really unique in the way that we approach space is that you don't have to even do any additional operations yourselves. We, we fully automate the operational modes and we include your payloads operations on top of our satellite. We expose information from the satellite and telemetry which is relevant for your payload directly to it. For example, we can expose a precise positioning signal or precise timing signal from an onboard GNSS or we can expose information about the attitude of the satellite and give you the chance to base your operations on the pointing. And this completely takes care of all the legal burdens, all the frequency allocation, any kind of infrastructure that you need on the ground. We literally just need your payload, how it works and what you want to do with it. So what's next? We have two launches booked for 2021. One of them is already fully booked and this is our pilot mission. It's called Spartan or the shared platform for applied research and technology affirmation. Yeah, I know a bit long. But uh, soon, af soon after Spartan, in December 2021, we're expecting our second launch and we still have about one unit of available payload for it. So if you hurry up, you, your payload may be in space before the end of this year. But even if you don't want that one or even if you miss that one, keep in mind that we have very flexible options. So even if you pre-book a slot but you're unable to meet it up to six months before the actual time that we need to fly, you can actually reschedule in a very flexible way. So contact us about this option and we can give you a little more details. Starting from 2022, we are announcing our quarterly flights of the shared satellite. So you can expect every three months to have a possibility. And this is a new thing, a novel concept in the space flight industry, because we don't just offer you a theoretical flight that you can use. We give you an actual booked flight that you can select. And we have these for more than a year in the future already defined and available. We have many different orbits based on what you need. Several of the flights we have for next year are sun synchronous, but we also have lower inclination ones. So if you'd like to learn more and dive deeper into the technical side, contact me. You can find my details on the contact page of endurosat.com.